Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diaphne. If you're new here, welcome, bienvenue, and thank you for clicking on today's video. As you can see by the title today, I'm going to share with you my new items from Farfetch. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Share with your friends and family. Now, let's get into All right. it. Now, some of these things you've seen already on my channel, but I just wanted to make a video dedicated to the items that I purchased specifically at Farfetch. This is not to say you cannot find these items other places, but for me, that's where I found them. And they've been a great addition to my wardrobe. I only have two brands, really. Um, keep in mind, you guys, I don't really just shop all the time luxury so i don't have a big collection but i just want to share with you the little bits that i do have so i'm going to start with gucci and gucci i only have some small leather goods you've probably seen me talk about these already i think probably in my huge collective haul i have two items here and i'm going to share with you both of them are key pouches now no one needs two or three or whatever it's up to you how many you want but the first one i got was this one right here this is the one with the double g's this is the classic gucci logo now this is the one i started using and i absolutely loved it the very first one i had was a gucci key pouch with the zipper and you can kind of put coins in there i'll put a picture on the screen to show you guys which one i was talking about but i wanted one that resembled more like the louis vuitton the six key holder and i couldn't find that one anymore that one is completely sold out so i went and i got this one and i absolutely loved it but I was shopping and browsing for Mother's Day gift when I stumbled upon this one. This is also a key holder, a six key holder, but the Gucci is different. This one is the Gucci with the B, as you can see. And I thought this was super cute. So I definitely got my mom this one for Mother's Day, but I went back and got myself one as well. But this particular one, I looked on the Gucci website and I couldn't find it. I don't know if it's under another name, if it's under maybe another collection or whatever, but I checked under the small leather goods and I could not find this one. This particular one, I only saw on Farfetch. So this is why I really wanted to make this video because I feel like some things that I'm brought when I'm browsing around and I see, I only see them on Farfetch. And sometimes when you're looking for some items, some very hard to find items, if you can't find it anywhere else, be sure to check Farfetch because I've been seeing some things that are sold out everywhere else. So yeah, definitely. I have been getting very acquainted with Farfetch and I have to say, I really, really like what I see so far. So those are the two things that I got from Gucci and I really, really love them. Lately, I've been using this one with the B because I love it so much. But sometimes when I just want something a little classier, just plain and not too much, I'll use this one. The next brand I got is Yves Saint Laurent. I don't have that many things, but I wanna show you. I have two from these things I'm going to show you now that are a check off from my wish list. If you guys watch, my luxury wish list for 2021 video. I have a couple of things on there that I wished for. So let me start with the first one. This is kind of like new items from Farfetch and also some items checked off my wish list kind of video. Ah! Oh my goodness, you guys look at how beautiful this looks if you saw my wishlist video 
I said I wanted a card holder, a YSL card holder, a black one, just very classy, very nice, very classic and stylish. I really, 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 really wanted this and it's here. Like I absolutely love this. A lot of these were very unexpected. I'm going to film a separate video, items that I've checked off my wish list. Um, I'm just waiting a little longer because I don't want to just keep putting a lot of hauls because you know it's not just a luxury channel so I'm just like giving it some time before I can kind of film that for you guys but it's coming and if you guys don't mind leave comments down below and let me know I will definitely film that for you but I digress anyway this is super cute right now it's back to regular price but when I got it for some reason I don't know if it's because of where it was coming from or what because sometimes Farfetch have like different prices where something would be on sale on one like in one color the other color would be full price I'm not sure if the difference in price depends on where the item is being shipped from but I definitely got a discount on this one and I was so happy when I saw that that was like a little bit after I filmed my wishlist video I was just browsing and I saw this so I definitely hopped on this I was super happy so sometimes when you want something or need something I also use the karma app or I should say extension sometimes it'll let me know when things go on sale this one I found out by myself I was just browsing and I realized they had one color that was lower priced I'm not sure why because the next day when I went on it was back to full price so I'm not sure what that was about but I'm so happy I did not pay full price for this so yeah checked off the wish list this next item is definitely another item checked off my wish list, you guys. I don't know if you guys remember me saying I want this particular item and I was like, I'm not sure which color or what or whatever. When I saw this color, I just knew I had to get this. There was no longer any question on what the color was going to be. This is it for my very first Uptown pouch. Oh my God. How beautiful is this pouch? How beautiful is this pouch? So basically, this material here is like a, it's fabric. It's like a fabric kind of material. So this can get dirty very, very fast. So you have to be careful, but it's so pretty. It's beautiful. This YSL emblem right here is everything, everything. I love this emblem in gold. I mean, <laughs> excuse me okay and this brown right here oh my goodness you guys this is so pretty my first time seeing it on farfetch i can't tell you if they have this on the ysl website which i'm pretty sure they do have but i did not go there to double check the very first time i saw this this exact design was on farfetch and i cop it so i don't know if this is new or what but hello checked off the wish list I mean I didn't even know what color I wanted but Farfetch answered baby like this this was it this was really good this next one you guys have already seen on my channel these are the Bianca Mules that I've showed you guys in my huge collective haul well my May collective haul video for some reason I checked in the stores I I cannot find this exact shoe okay so I think this one is another one if you're looking for you have to go on Farfetch or I don't know if another website has it but I've only seen this on Farfetch I cannot find on YSL I see another one similar to it 
but it's not the Bianca. It's not this exact one that I'm looking at. I've gone to Saks, I've gone to Neiman's, and I have not seen this exact shoe style. Not on their websites, not on the YSL website. So, again, this is why I'm making this video, like new items added specifically from Farfetch, because some of these I do not see on anywhere else. I'm so happy, like this was not even on my wish list. I just kind of saw it and I thought it was super cute. The first time I got these, I got a size 38, but I had to since, I think I got a 38 and a half actually, or a 38, I'm not sure. But I had to return them and get a 39. So if you are interested in these shoes, make sure you get a size up, a full size up, and they fit perfectly. So uh, I'm so happy. The next one I'm going to show you guys is not really, well, originally I did not get it from Farfetch. I got it from Neiman or Saks or Bloomingdale's, one of them. It was in my luxury haul, huge luxury haul video. I'll link it up here for you guys to check out. Anyway, when I first got the shoe, when I did the luxury haul, I hadn't worn the shoe yet. So I'm showing you this because, matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to make a complete review kind of video on these exact shoe. These are the YSL Tribute sandals and these are my second pair in the same color. The very first pair that I got, it came very beautifully, very nice, but there was a little scuff on the shoe. Now, I wasn't sure if I did it or if it came that way, but I tried to exchange it. They didn't have my size anymore. I just did a return. While I was browsing on Farfetch, then I ended up getting these shoes. Now, I've worn them many times. Like, this is like old story. But what I realized with these shoes is, because it got a scuff mark again. Let me see if you guys can see it. You probably can't really see it. But anyway, what I realized with these shoes is that they're very fragile shoes. They get easily scuffed, easily just like the very first time you wear it, things happen. I'm, like I said, I'm going to make a full review on these exact shoes, talking about, you know, wear and tear, the sizing and everything else. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Like I said, these are my second pair. I got them at a size 38. So I just wanted to show you guys, if you're looking for these shoes and you cannot find your size either on the YSL or the other third party stores, also you can check Farfetch. This was a very short and sweet video. I just wanted to share with you some of the items that I got from Farfetch, especially I wanted to show you the ones that I do not see anywhere else. So. I truly hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Share this video with your friends and family. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.